Culp, get the rope. You, go from this way. Go, and you, from the back wall. Come with me, Zubair. Wait. Have you thought of everything? Yeah. Rest assured. Come. Let's go, come. Go. Has the gold of the coins driven you insane, Zaber? Huh? <laughs> How did you give yourself permission to set foot in the governor's treasury, huh? You think you can just waltz in here without permission, huh? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what the governor will do with you if he finds out you've set foot in his treasury? The least is he'll have you hanged. I didn't think he'd be so stupid to fall for this trap so easily. Uh, we can strike a deal together. That's good. So you're into making deals, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so what is your proposal? Mm. 
Let me go, please. You can take whatever you want from the treasury and then you can blame me for it. How's that? Abu Salab? Hmm? What do you think? Not bad at all. Don't be fooled. We've already struck a much better deal. <laughs> <laughs> He's right! <laughs> um? Yes, Master? Rat. At what price? At what price, sir? Huh? It's not time for that now. Tie him up. Soldiers! You will get what you deserve, Arm. Do you think that I will let you live in peace, huh? I'll make life hell for you. I'll slit your throat myself! If you stay alive, you can take your revenge. <laughs> Adam, congratulations on your new post. I don't understand, Commander. Don't act stupid. I mean, heading the bandits. But don't forget one thing. We want the governor's share. Yeah. Yes, I will do. Our own share, too. <laughs> well do, sir. <laughs> Stop laughing. Get going. Go. Go. Sure. Off you go. Your plan was flawless, Sammy. Let's go. <laughs> Get going. It's a dark night, Zabair. You began it in the treasury. You ended it in the dungeon. A rebel who was a desert bandit. A great swordsman. Now a little rat. A rat with his hands and feet tied down. Imprisoned in year. <laughs> what happened? Do you want me to have your hands and feet untied, huh? <laughs> but no. Oh no, there is always a condition. You have to bow down and kiss my feet. It's a good deal, right? What are you waiting for? Bow down. <laughs> are you refusing to listen to me? Do you want to disobey me? Jack! Throw him inside! I believe any living creature, including man, is the result of effects and influences of natural forces. Nature, like any other productive system, is under the influence of the law of quality and of quantity while reproducing. The secret to it can be discovered with the theory of balance. Imitating the way of nature in producing creatures and material, and if needed, even correcting them, at least when it comes to theory, is possible. But there are five categories, which I consider during the process of production. The first category, if the quality and the quantity match, and then also there is a likeness between time and place. Changes may happen suddenly in the matter itself. The second category, 
If there is no agreement between quality and quantity, between time and place, then the change takes place phase by phase within the matter. The third category, when there is agreement between quality and quantity, but inconsistency between time and place, changes happen suddenly in the matter. The fourth category, if there is no agreement between quality and quantity, but accordance between time and place, the change happens suddenly in the matter itself. And now we have come to the fifth category. If there isn't an agreement between quality and quantity and agreement in time and place, then the change now takes place phase by phase, as we understand. The difference between divine creation and human creation is that the divine creation, the change takes place suddenly, but in human creation, the change takes place phase by phase and on numerous occasions. Therefore, the first, the third, and the fourth categories are related to the creator of the universe, and the second and fifth categories are related to the artificial production of all things. The artificial production is in itself three categories, mineral, vegetative, and animal, and that is how mankind can create these things which have not been seen in nature so far. Judge, the time has come for you to do something brave, my friend. Do you doubt my service? Do you, Master? No, not at all. Not at all. You're not at all. You know that the city of Basra is suffering because of the presence of a dubious, deceitful magician. We shouldn't be letting someone spread his beliefs and call them wisdom and science, should we? Now that he doesn't want to behave and wants to spread the teachings of the Shias in the guise of his classes, we have to get rid of him as soon as possible. Because of his beliefs, Master. Or because he's stolen the heart of that beauty? <laughs> Ooh. I've told you this many times before. Don't, don't get in my head. <laughs> You're shameless, treacherous, and deceitful. I'm only thinking about the people and the Caliph. You're right, Master. We have to get rid of him. Especially now that we have enough reasons to trap him. <laughs> then don't have mercy on him. Give the order to have him arrested and put him on trial. His crime is practicing alchemy and magic. It's no less than murder and pillage and being a bandit. Just do something in court so that the people think I am in the right, as always. You understand? I know what to do with him.
More power, Jabba. Jabba? Sorry, Envan. I didn't notice you arrive. <laughs> Please. Thank you very much. The night sky always drowns mankind. You don't know whether to fear the darkness or have hope because of the shining stars. Yes, the sky is full of secrets and mysteries. The story of the movement of all these stars in the sky and their positions puts you in absolute awe. The movement of all the stars is very strange and astonishing. Some of them do not leave the orbit and move with a number of other stars. Just like the ant which is on the move on a millstone. The ant moves to the left and the stone to the right. In this condition, the ant has two totally different movements. First, one that is involuntary and to the front and on the stone. But all in all, a forced movement exists and the stone forces the ant to move in the opposite direction. The story of this movement is strange, isn't it? God willing, you will live a long life and learn more. Your knowledge is a light that brightens the way for future generations. In this endless world of creations, the light of my knowledge is less than the light of these stars. The more I do research into the mysteries of creation, the more I realize just how much I don't know and I have more questions for my master, Jafar ibn Muhammad, my leader. I do wish I had enough time left in my life to see him once again, yes. God willing, that will happen. Now that my life is coming to an end, and I can hear the footsteps of death, I have a great fear in my heart. A fear that won't leave me alone night or day, especially since Raheli passed away. What are you afraid of, my friend? Zolfa. Zolfa? Why are you afraid for her? She doesn't have a husband or a life that suits her. I'm afraid I might not live long enough and Zolfa will be left alone. Whatever is in God's will will surely happen. I want to put a hand in the hand of a husband myself, someone who God is satisfied with, who I can, who I can find is knowledgeable and as good as. Open up! Open the door! I'm coming! I'm coming! What is wrong? Why are you knocking like that? Get out of the way! Where is he? What do you want here? Where is that deceiving magician? What magician? Do you not know this is N. Van Basri's residence? What's going on? Greetings to Basra's great merchant, N. Van. What's going on, Obeid? Do you think that you can catch a bandit over here? It is the order of Basra's high judge to arrest that alchemist. On what uncommitted crime? The judge knows the reason. I am only enforcing his order. He is my guest. I will never allow you to drag a guest of my house like a bandit or a thief and take him with you. I said it's the high judge's order and I am only carrying it out. If you want to interfere, I will take him by force. Search the house. Never! I will never allow a Muslim to be disrespected like this in my house. If the judge is decent and knows the traditions of Arab decency, he would never issue an order like that. No, he would not. Soldiers, go and find him. Never! What do you want from him? I am here. It's him. Arrest him now. No need. Don't disrupt the peace of the house. Allow me to ready myself, and I will come with you. Go with him now. Jabe?
Don't worry, my friend. There's nothing to worry about. He wanted to bring what he called reasons to convince me and the rest of the students to reach his goal which has nothing but to do harm to the beliefs of a group of Muslims. How did he do that? He spoke of the science of nature in the guise of science and wisdom. He was trying to say that man is like God in his ability to create. God forbid. I ask forgiveness from God and repent. He's lying! Everyone knows Jabba, son of Ayan, is a true Muslim. I know him quite well enough myself. For a magician like him, tricking a naive old man like you is a simple thing. Hmm? What else did he say? May God forgive me. He was saying that in search of the secrets of creation, man can take God's place. He can create just like God. He can create creatures which God himself hasn't been able to create until this day. In simpler words, mankind who is a creation of the creator of the universe can be better than God himself. And mankind can do a far better job than God, hmm? Yes, that's what he said. Allah is great. Allah is great. I definitely do not think anyone in Muslim, Christian, or Jewish lands has ever uttered such sinister words. Such sinister words. What you are saying is sacrilegious, yes. But that is not what I said. If this is not sacrilegious, then what is? I said mankind is a creation of God Almighty. And in the Holy Quran, God has said that man is his representative on earth. God has praised himself for creating mankind. And because mankind has the power to understand, a power that God has gifted him with, Therefore, he has the power to think about his surroundings and other creations in the universe and discover the secrets and the mysteries of creation. And based on the abilities that God has given him, he too can create for himself, but only in absolutely specific instances. Man can only create things which are created phase by phase, but creations that happen instantly can only be done so by God Almighty himself. Mankind can never do such a thing, because man himself belongs to this world only, and yet still there are signs of the other world within him. With the use of these signs and also the wisdom and thought, he can uncover the mysteries of the world and step into the other world. Enough of these sacrilegious words. Have we not heard enough that you have tainted the minds of young Muslims in your classes with these satanic words? I... I have seen many scholars who had become so proud of themselves, so proud of their knowledge that their spirits had become tainted and they became heathens and denounced Almighty God, which is like the sun and shines light on the truth. Do you not understand? 
These people... These people are the dubious ones who mislead society and cause people to go astray. Sit. Sit, young man. God bless you for telling us the truth, young man. Thank you. Thank you. But aside from denouncing God, which is an unforgivable sin, you have to know, people, that this man is an alchemist. And that is a form of magic, and Islam considers magic haram. Alchemy and medicine are branches of natural sciences. One revolves around the combination and dissolution of matter and elements and a source for their creation, and the other is based on science of healing the pain of those who are ill. These two have nothing to do with magic. The basis of magic is deceit and deception. How do you consider these as one? Silent! Don't you know you have to ask God Almighty for treatment of illnesses, not man-made magic? What is he talking about? If the great judge gives me the time, I can explain the science in detail and inform the people about the differences of the science of nature and magic. And if there is a scholar among you, I can debate the issue with him happily. Then if you hear a word of Koof in what I say, you can rule anything you want and I will accept. Ready? Shame on you. God. How can I allow a magician to speak about magic and speak about lies and speak about trickery in a place, in such a holy place like this? How can I? I am a man who's supposed to bring justice to Muslims. Do you want to use me as a toy? Judge? He is a knowledgeable physician. He heals the sick. His work has nothing to do with magic. That's right. 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 How dare you disrupt the hearing? Calm them all down. Shame on you. Jabba is famous for his knowledge and wisdom all across Muslim lands. He has worked hard in studying illness and finding cures for them. We all need his knowledge and experience. Is it fair to excuse him of magic and of Kufa? Why don't you let him defend himself? Why don't you? Quiet! You want... You want to influence the judge with magic? You want to influence me with tricks? I, I who am the head judge of Basra, sentence you to death. Take How him. can you justify this verdict with the mind and religion? I don't see any need to explain the justification for my ruling. I, I speak what will satisfy God. And I hope that I can do what my religious duty has taught me. Take him. What are you waiting for? Take him. I Get object. Going. Wait. Wait. No nonsense. I will not go. Let's go. Let's so, go. Let me go. Move. Move. God. God, I hope you are satisfied with me. I am grateful to you for giving me the honor to give out one of my best rulings. Shame!
Shame on you, Judge. Shame on you. Do you not fear the wrath of God? Do you not? It was a fair ruling. Let's go. from me here. You're like a bad omen. I am not here of my own will to explain to you or bring you bad luck. My bad luck began when you entered Basra. First you snatched that caravan from me, then nested in Enban's house and prevented me from being with his daughter. I don't know why I was fooled and then set foot in a trap. Now what are you going to do to me here? Heaven only knows. Calm down, man. You ordered the freedom of the members of the caravan yourself. And at Envan's house I was only a guest, and I don't guest? think... As soon as Envan and his daughter saw you, they forgot that there's a Zubir who's been in love with Zolfa for years. In love with Zolfa? I am glad to hear that you are in love and have a connection with love and kindness and loyalty. You think Zobir is so cruel that he is unable to love? No, sir. You consider me a cruel bandit. My heart is mellow and warm. Too bad that the other people speak of wisdom and knowledge and greatness and consider being a bandit a crime. That's how they shut the doors on love for others. A pity! There is a way to love if you follow it. No one can shut the door on you. Love has a way. Don't talk about ways and principles because they make me want to vomit. You think I'm that stupid to be fooled with your words? Fooled? What for? Zolfa's hand. Don't tire yourself, rest assured. I will never have her. I will never have her. Or anything else in this world, I can tell you that for sure. Patience and hope are principles of love. Hmm. Hope in what? Someone who is sentenced to death and is living the last nights of his life in a prison. What hope does he have? You two will be executed? I am happy that we have one thing in common. Why you? The reason is not important. What is important is that I am hopeful in God's mercy. God may well help us out of this. Wisdom and philosophy have made you lose your mind. They've tied up your hands. You're in a dungeon, my friend. When the sun rises, they will hang you and then God you will... is in charge of everything. Now, if you'd be quiet, let me think and see how we can ask God for his help. God's help, huh? God's help? I could not rule so successfully without the presence of a head judge like you, who is a scholar and a great thinker. Thank you very much, Governor. 
What a great speech. Alchemy is like black magic. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement of your coins brought about a flurry of things for me to say. <laughs> a good ruling will always be rewarded. Thank you very much. Just make sure that this is enough to take care of Zolfa. Hmm? Governor, you have tried me. I assure you, I will remove all the obstacles one by one. Just do something so that the scholar and the bandit be hanged on the same day, my friend. 